Hello my dear children, welcome to the second module of the Civics Class 10 First Chapter Power Sharing. In this module, we are going to study about the two categories of reasons behind power sharing in democracy. Right? The title in your book is Power Sharing Desirable. Power sharing is of course desirable, but desirable for two important reasons and the two important reasons are prudential reasons and moral reasons. We are going to describe these reasons one by one. First we take prudential reasons. Okay. Prudential means what? I would like to give you one example here. Right. One little story here. Right. In 1983, India won the Cricket World Cup. The captain of the Indian team was Kapil Dev Ramlal Nikanj. Right? Oh, you all enjoy that moment whenever it comes, you know, a video recording of that match on television. Right? Remember the name of that World Cup. Anyone who can remember, who can recall? The name of that Cricket World Cup was Prudential World Cup, right? Now, the word Prudential is just to relate that, okay, to you. Prudential was an insurance company, is an insurance company in England even today. So, here, Prudential means what? Prudential means... You decide whether to do something or not on the basis of calculating the gains and losses. I give you one example again, right? Suppose you are going to do something. You calculate what are the gains and losses when you are doing that thing. Then you calculate what are the gains and losses when you are not doing that thing. Then try to find out when you are getting more gains, when you are doing that thing or when you are not doing that thing. Okay. So this reason is called prudential reason. In democracy, we share power, we don't share power and that we have seen with the two examples, with the two stories. In the previous module, the story of Belgium, where we shared power, the story of Sri Lanka, where we didn't share power, right? So after calculating the gains and losses, you decide whether you should share power or not share power. This is called prudential reason. So the prudential reasons of power sharing in democracy are three. Number one, when we share power in democracy, it reduces possibility of conflicts. In Belgium, the Dutch, the French, the Germans, the three communities shared power and by sharing power, they amended their constitution four times, right? And with that, they reduced the possibility of conflicts in future. They are a very good federal country. They are the headquarter of European Union and NATO. We have already started these things. So we come to the second prudential reason of power sharing and that is it ensures stability of political order. We have seen this in Belgium. The political order was totally disturbed, totally unstable. But when the people of Belgium decided to amend their constitution, they amended it four times between 1970 to 1993. And they got very good solution to all their problems related to power sharing. Right? And by that, they established 
a very powerful, very good, very energetic and very efficient political order that was very, very stable also. Right? So, Belgium developed fast, quickly as a federal democratic country in Europe. And when the European Union was formed, you know that it was chosen as the headquarter of European Union. Okay? So, coming to the third point related to the prudential reason of power sharing. And this is, it checks the tyranny of majority on minority. Remember this. Democracy has got two very good thoughts. And these two thoughts are what? Number one, majority must protect minority. Again, majority must protect minority. And minority also must respect majority. That also we have seen in Belgium, right? At national level, the Dutch were in majority. But in the capital city of Brussels, the French were in majority. And uh, the Germans, only 1% contribution in the national population. You can imagine their situation. But by the four amendments, once again I say, the Dutch got ready to share power at national level. And the French got ready to share power at the capital city level, Brussels. And the three community governments were also set up to develop language, culture and education of the three communities. So, we come to the point that when the majority protects minority and the minority respects majority, a democratic setup becomes very, very powerful. I hope you understand these three prudential reasons which are there on the basis of gains and losses of Doing something or not doing something. Doing something means what here? It is power sharing. Right? Now, we are coming to the second category of reasons and that is moral reasons of power sharing. Moral values, disciplinary values, ethical values are very, very important in democracy. In fact, morality is the very spirit of life. Life where? In a democratic country. It's important for each and every citizen because morality develops sense of power sharing. Right? So, coming to the first moral reason of power sharing, remember one point Always, moral reasons are based on ethical values, disciplinary values, right? So, first point is, power sharing is the spirit of democratic life. One person, one vote, one value, right? All people in the country, in a democratic country, are citizens. They are not subjects, right? So, there is a big difference between subject and citizen. Under the British, we were subject. After independence, we are citizen, right? We are the source of power. So, people are source of power and you can say that power sharing develops the spirit of democracy. So, this is the first ethical reason, first moral reason. Second moral reason of power sharing in democracy is people have a right to be consulted. Before taking every decision in the parliament, the representatives participate in a very tight debate on any topic. Right? Bills are introduced, then debated, then voted, then if getting majority passed, right? And then comes the signature of the president, assent of the president, and it becomes law. So, before taking any decision, every person is consulted, every voter is consulted through 
representatives in the parliament. Right? So, people have a right to be consulted in democracy. Right? Third moral reason of power sharing is power sharing promotes legitimate government. Now, what is legitimate government? The government in which people have stake in the government through very, very active participation. What is active participation? Active participation in two ways. One, they are voter. The other, they are the contestants also. Right? So, citizens participate in elections in two ways. Right? They vote because they have got universal adult franchise. Right? Means right to vote. Okay. One thing I would like to discuss here, add here rather. Right? What is universal adult franchise? My dear children, as far as our country, India is concerned, every citizen who has completed 18 years of age has got the right to vote without any discrimination on any ground. Right? 18 years of age and citizenship of India. These are the two important things. But remember one more thing. Till 1989, 61st Amendment, it was 21 years of age, right? 26th January 1950 to 1989, 61st Amendment, the voting age was 21 years, right? By 61st Amendment, in 1989, it was made 18 years. But first time it was practiced in 1990 elections. This is an extra information for you, right? So, legitimate government means what? A government is legitimate only when the citizens have a very clear cut active stake in the government, in the decision making through active participation right so these are the three moral reasons of power sharing we have studied in this module about power sharing two reasons two categories of reasons and the two categories of reasons are prudential and moral we discussed three prudential reasons and three moral reasons Prudential reasons are based on calculation of gains and losses. Moral reasons are based on ethical values, but both are very, very good for democratic values. Any democratic country in the world, whether small or big, or in any part of the world, if it is democracy, it must share power. So, in this module, we discussed about the two reasons of power sharing. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Study well. If you have any doubt, do not hesitate in asking questions. Right? You are asking questions means you have studied. Okay? So, take care. Thank you very much.